found Queen V Crafts, my channel all about my crafting life. My name is Eve, my pronouns are she, her, and this is Floss Tube episode number nine. Today is the 21st of March 2024, uh, at least at the time of this recording, and I'd like to say welcome. Uh, I have a ton of new subscribers since my last video, and I'm really thankful. Uh, I had some shoutouts in the community recently, um, and I think that brought in a lot of new friends. So, welcome if you're new, um, and to all my returning friends, welcome back. Uh, I am really thankful uh, that this channel is doing what it's doing, that I can uh, show my uh, stitching with y'all, and I guess on that note, I should show some stitching to y'all. So I have kind of everything categories-wise today. I've got a finish for now, I've got a few new starts, I've got several works in progress, I've got some acquisitions and plans. So let's start with the finish for now. This is the Enchanted Realm cell um, by Caterpillar Crossfitch. And I'll put up where I was last time. And then y'all can see here I am now. So I was able to finish up the mermaid section, fold this over, and so now I've got my mermaids and my dragons complete, and the next section of this stitch along comes out on the 26th, so I will st at least start on that section that day. Probably won't finish it, but I was able to finish that section before the next drop, which is really exciting. I'm actually keeping up with a stitch along. So, project number one, Enchanted Realms stitch along. Now, I guess I want to do new starts. Uh, first up, I started a vintage kit, not a kit, vintage pattern. This is a leisure arts pattern. Um, let's see, do I have a year on this? Do, do, do. Um, 2002, so I guess it's not that old, but the designs in here definitely feel vintage. So, this pattern is called Butterfly Duo, and it's the one that I'm stitching. And this is out of the Nature Collection booklet from Leisure Arts. Um, I am stitching this on 36 count vintage country mocha. And using the called for DMC. And surprisingly, the called for hasn't changed dye lot wise um, in terms of colors since then. So here is Butterfly Duo. Um, I'm really liking the look of it on this vintage country mocha. It's, it looks so aged, which I think is really, really neat. So yeah, I'm excited how this one's coming along. Should probably get back to it and put in at least the outline of the other wing. So it's not so lopsided. But, um, 
colors for this chart as I drop my board are these really pretty muted greens and browns and oranges. I guess yellow too. But yeah, that is Butterfly Duo. Next new start is The Lunar Witch by Autumn Lane Stitchery. This one, um, I have a couple of this one and another Autumn Lane that I started in the anticipation of bringing them to North Carolina for Queen City Stitch Retreat. So this one I am stitching on uh, Dusty Cottage 36 count by the Stitch Me. This is I haven't cut my fabric down, so it's still quite a large piece of fabric. Um, and this one I'm using the Called For DMC um, and Anchor Black. I've never used Anchor Black. I wanted to see if it truly is a difference, like how people say the it has better coverage than 310. So, yeah, there's my start on The Lunar Witch. This um, fabric is so beautiful. I know I've showed it in a previous video. But I decided to stitch on this half of the fat quarter. So, it'd pretty much be about like this size. I'm excited. And that is Lunar Witch. Um, I can show you her colors as well. I don't know why I braided these. That's an interesting choice for me. Weird. Anyways. Um, and this chart in particular is the first that I'm using Markup RXP um, since I did buy the PDF of this chart um, and it wasn't loading into Pattern Keeper. Pattern Keeper? It sounded weird when I said that just now. Anyways, um, so I loaded it into Markup um, and it definitely took some learning, finagling. Um, but I think I finally have this set up so that it works like Pattern Keeper, where I can search for a symbol, it's the correct symbol, all the pages are loaded in. It's great. All right, last new start since my previous video. And that is Springbird by Heart and Hand. Uh, this is a part of my hashtag season of the bird sow, um, where I am stitching, um, each of the season's birds from heart and hand in their respective seasons. So the 19th was the equinox, so the beginning of spring, and I started this, and you're gonna have to ignore my hanging threads because I was started some and then got bored so I moved to something else but this is Springbird and this is on a 36 count platinum with predominantly the called for gentle art uh, I did swap in Classic Colorworks Cocoa Bean for, I think it's Weeks Chestnut. Um, and then when I get to it, the bird is a lighter color than uh, what's called for. So what's called for is uh, Brethren Blue, which is what the border is stitched in. 
and I think the dye a lot has changed because it is definitely like more of a dark teal. So I have swapped that. I swapped that, I mean the, the color of the bird. Um, I'm gonna do the bird in uh, Crystal Lake. Oh, that's fancy. So here are the colors. This is Brother in Blue. This one in the front. And this is Crystal Lake. So yeah. I'm excited on my start. Um, I got a lot more done than I thought I was going to. Like, all of this nest I thought was going to take me a while, but it didn't. What is going to be more dense is the big egg that is in this nest, but obviously we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And those are my new starts. So let me um, fold this up and scoochie this over here. We can talk about my works in progress. So the first thing that I worked on, actually I need to grab, I didn't read through my notes close enough that it's still sitting on my shelf, so hold on one second. Okay, so pardon the zipper. First thing I worked on was my Stardew Valley map. Um, this is a free pattern from Chi Chi's a Kitty. Um, I don't know how many of y'all, uh, watch streams on Twitch, but last year, uh, there was a Sal hosted for this pattern. Um, if you are interested in it, let me know. I can direct you to where I found it. Um, but this is where I was the last time y'all saw it. And I have decided to change up the way that I'm stitching this. Um, I've really been enjoying um, working in the diagonal on my other full coverage piece, so I have sorted this out so that I can also stitch this one in the diagonal. So I filled in each of my stepstone blocks um, and did a little bit more work down here. These are actually parked threads. These will get cut. I think I can cut them soon because they should all be stitched over at this point. Um, if not, um, I might go one more row down um, and then trim off all of these threads that I was kind of, I was parking, parking, um, a, a block over from where that uh, block was stitched. So like if I had stitched, say for example, this block, I was counting one, two and parking in that block um, just so that I could stitch over the backs but I'm noticing that it, this is getting very difficult to pull my thread through in the back because of that so I'm changing up the way that I'm doing things so this is as big as it's going to be when it is done and yeah that is my Stardew Valley map Next thing is my large Pokemon stitch from Lord Libidin. Um, this is such a long-term project. I started this so long ago, but I decided, hey, I was in the mood to stitch on it, so I put quite a bit of work into it. Um, this is where I was last time, and um, here is where I am now. 
and angle it so that I can see all of it in frame. So I am still continuing to work upward, um, as you can may or may not be able to tell, this is the start of Jigglypuff. Um, and yeah, I think it looks so good so far. Like, uh, is this a uh, Nidoran? Female Nidoran? Looks so good from this distance. Like, so does Mankey. Like, the, this, all that's finished here looks so good from this distance. Love. Obviously, labor of love, because this is going to take me forever to finish. But. It's so fun to stitch. Um, oh, I just realized I haven't been giving you, I didn't give you fabrics for those last two. My Stardew Valley is on 16 count easy grid and I'm stitching to everyone with the call for DMC and my Pokemon is 18 count light blue and that one is one over one with the call for DMC. Alrighty, next up. Let's see, I have the Vanishing Isle by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And this is where I was last time. And this is where I am now. This is, is this 18 count, I think? Yes, 18 count Mystic Rain from Millennial Fabrics. Um, and if you are unfamiliar uh, with that company, I would highly recommend checking them out. Um, Sarah and her significant other uh, dye beautiful fabric, um, and they also have a FlossTube channel, so I will link her down below. Uh, what else is there to say? This is one over one, and I'm stitching with the call for DMC. I I think I have all of the top of the turtle done at this point. Um, I'm going to start working on the turtle and decide once I finish the turtle if I want to put in the, the clouds and sky that is up here. I think this fabric is doing enough of that for me, so I might omit it. We will cross that bridge when we get there. So yeah, this is the Vanishing Isle. And because I've been showing you my flosses, these are the colors for this pattern. Not sipping anything. Alright, next up is uh, one that I pulled out because I spun my wheel. I was not feeling stitching on any of the things that I had, like, recently started, any of the things that I had, like, out, because usually I'll pull out a project and then stitch on it, and then, you know, at the end of the day, I put things away. Um, and I leave them off of my whip shelf so that I know which projects I worked on between floss tubes. And nothing was like 
calling to me in that pile. So I pulled out my MLK sampler that I started back in January. And I will say I did like very little, <laughs> but I did stitch on it a little bit. So here's where it was last time and here it is now. This one is also on 36 count vintage country mocha. I'm stitching with the Call for DMC 1 over 2. And I don't know if I mentioned that this pattern is by Stone Street Stitchworks on Etsy. So, a little bit more progress on this one. Um, I probably should dedicate um, the 15th of each month to putting some stitches in on this one because that's, uh, I started it on January 15th. So, I should probably stitch on it a little bit each month. So, um, that it doesn't end up being a whip until next Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So yeah, my MLK sampler. Um, I'll show you the colors for this one. I just have a few strands of each of the DMC colors. Um, because I do have all of those in stash if I need more. I did pull all those from stash. Okay, next up, I worked on my 2024 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along. This one is No Time Like the Present. Uh, here's where it was the last time that you saw it. And here it is now. Move this thread over here. So I am mostly caught up um, on this side. I still need to do this side um, and do fill in in this section here. Um, obviously that'll go for both sides, but I already have the thread um, started for that fill in. I just need to do it. <laughs> um, and yeah. This one is 18 count, very light pewter. I'm using two colors of DMC, 3847 and 3849, and um, stitching two over one, which obviously I'm not going to change now because I'm this far, <laughs> but if I could go back in time, I think I would tell myself not to use two strands on 18 count. It's just not my preferred. It's too, too puffy. Um, I know a lot of people like this amount of coverage on 18 count, but it just feels too much for me. So I don't, I don't typically stitch with two threads on 18 count. And I don't know why I decided to do that this time, but yeah, that is my no time like the present. Okay. Pile is very large. Um, then I pulled out my whip of candy this is a fancy lady designed by my friend Kat over at Whittier Stitches. Um, here she is last time you saw her. And here is where I am now. Um, I will say I only put like maybe 100 stitches in since last time. This is 32 count gingerbread by Picture This Plus, and I'm 
using the Colorful DMC for the blue dress conversion and skin tone too. So, this is Candy. Her dress looks so good so far, like, let me put this behind so that there's not, like, come on. <laughs> that looks so good. Big fan. Windmill sized, if you will. Let me get her back in her bag. And I think I need to put her in a smaller cube snap or ask Kat to make me a bigger bag. Because <laughs> this is a, a gift bag that Kat of Whittier Stitches made for me. That's where Candy lives. Alright, last, last whip is my Gecko Rouge full coverage kit. This is Cosmic Lover. It is a artwork by Medusa Dollmaker. Uh, I was here last time and I am here now. Um, this fabric is 28 count. I'm stitching one over one with the kit floss. Um, and I'm really enjoying doing things on the diagonal. Um, I definitely need to start working more down this way. Um, because I think the lower that I get on this project, the easier, is it, the easier it's going to be to stitch on. Is right now up at the top on my 11 by 11 Q snap, which I guess I could put it in a smaller one because I'm not, you know, filling it in anytime soon. Um, it's hard for me to get up to the top when I'm working. So like when I'm holding my work, um, it just feels awkward. So um, this is Cosmic Lover. And I don't know if you can see how cute and tiny these stitches are. It's looking so good. I'm really liking how tiny this is. So, yeah, that is Cosmic Lover. And those are all my whips. Uh, I've got some fun haul. So, hang around if you want to see that. Um, first things first, I caved and bought the new Lola Crow stitch along. So, Deadly Aquarium uh, will be coming out, I think, mid-April the frame is released. So, I bought some fabric for that. I'm gonna, you know... I open up fabric so it's gonna be crinkles. I'm gonna turn the volume down, so hold on. Alright, so this is 18 count. Uh, fabric is called Tangled Up in Blue, and it is from the Etsy shop of Stitchman Darcy. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this individual. They also have a floss tube channel, so I would highly recommend going and checking out Darcy's floss tube. It's definitely chaos. If you enjoy chaos, go check him out. Um, but this is my dyeing that I picked uh, that he had dyed um, of Tangled Up in Blue. Um, this is going to be the fabric that I use for the Deadly Aquarium. Oh, it looks so good. Chef's kiss. Just absolute beauty. Love. 
love, love, love. And yeah, uh, if you need to go and check out Darcy's Etsy shop and, you know, FlossTube and Instagram and all those things. So, thank you, Darcy. I also picked up a piece of 25 count Easy Grid. I did buy a full coverage piece from Stitches So Beautiful. Uh, it's called A Girl and Her Kitties. And the, the cats in this pattern are gray and white, which is the colors of my cats. So I will be starting this maybe on their gotcha day which is in October. So I bought a piece of 25 count Easy Grid from Dying for Cross Stitch off of their Etsy shop. So there's their tag. And this is a big piece. So pretty sure I need to measure it again, but I'm pretty sure the the chart is like stops at where that last crease is or somewhere around it. So it's going to be big, but I'm excited because it is such a pretty, pretty artwork. Um, if I didn't already mention it, um, I'll put the name of the artist here. Um, And I would highly recommend going and checking out Stitches So Beautiful on Etsy. They've got a lot of awesome uh, full coverage pieces, um, PDFs to choose from. So those are my two fabric haul and patterns that I bought those fabrics to go with. Uh, next I went to my LNS for their market day, um, which was Saturday the 9th, Friday the 8th, somewhere in there. Um, and I bought patterns from market, um, but I also got some new floss. So I used up pretty much all of my skein of Secret Garden from Classic Colorworks, so I bought another one of those. And then I decided I'm going to restart um, Away We Ride. Uh, I wasn't loving my choices of colors on the fabric that I chose, so I am switching back to the called for colors. Um, they didn't have all of them in stock, so I bought the four that were. Um, these are Gentle Arts. And I will most likely contact them about the other colors that I need so that they can place an order for me and I can go and pick it up. So I bought these four at least. And then I also, while I was in there, saw a couple other charts that I have been wanting but I was waiting until I found them in the wild <laughs> to buy them instead of purchasing them off of 123 Stitch. So this is the St. Patrick's Bird from Heart and Hand. So cute. Um, these leggy birds give me life if it wasn't already apparent. And then I also found Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs. Uh, this one, it was tied between this and Octopus's Garden for my start on uh, the Fab Four Fan Sal, hosted by Julian Sitches and Cross Stitch the Globe. But I couldn't find this chart anywhere. Like, 123 Stitch was out of it, my... LNS was out of it when I was looking when I was in Texas. Three stitches was out of it. 
So I finally, when I went in this past time to my LNS, um, they had it. So I was like, not letting it escape me again. So I grabbed Yellow Submarine. Um, and so those are my two charts that aren't market. Next are market charts that Dying to Stitch brought back with them. Um, I had a very long wish list. If you um, go back and watch my last video, I'll link it up here in the eye. Um, at the end there is probably 15 to 20 minutes of me just talking about what I wanted for market. Um, so when I went in to Dying to Stitch, I was like, okay, if they have it on my wish from my wish list, I'm gonna get it because it just feels like fate. Um, they didn't have all of the charts that I was thinking about, but uh, I did buy four and a half. You'll see in a second charts. So first one is from Heartstring Samplery. This is My Scissors, My Rules. And mm -hmm. don't touch my cross stitch scissors. Don't touch my fabric scissors. Don't don't come into my craft room. My space, my scissors. Don't touch. So this one, and then I also bought Tiny Towns. So I grabbed the Anytown Tiny Town and the more Anytown Tiny Town. Both these don't have a frill, right? I just... No, but they do have buttons. Ooh, cute. I didn't even notice that. So they both have buttons. This is Anytown. Um, this one was an exclusive to Keepsakes for a while, which is why you can see in the banner here, it says Keepsakes, but they do have a alphabet in here that you can use to um, personalize any of the buildings in here. Here's more any town. And I'm considering stitching these as one big piece, as one long tiny town. So I'll see what I decide, or I might switch it up and take some pieces from some and uh, some from another and make my own town. Anyways, and then my last pick was the Frosty Tiny Town. Um, and this one I also got the frill. So Frosty Frill and Frosty Tiny Town. And I'm really excited. Um, this one might be my first market start. And, um... I want to stitch all of them on the same fabric, so I'm leaning towards platinum just because it's a good neutral for all of them, but if you have any suggestions where all of the Tiny Times is going to look good on a fabric, let me know. So, Frosty Tiny Town. And those are all my market things. Um, the last little bit of haul I have is from Stacy Thread the Needle Stitchery. Every month she curates, um, actually I take that back, Athena of Stitching Goddess Designs curates a floss pack um, inspired by something Harry Potter. And then Stacy at Thread the Needle Stitchery puts together that thread pack and sends it out. So link below I have the, the sign up if you want to join uh, getting these floss packs but basically every month it's a um, 
five skein of classic colorworks or gentle art um, floss pack and this one is inspired by Hermione Granger so I apologize again for crinkle This month, uh, has Classic Color Works Colonial Copper, Classic Color Works Betty Bluebell, I'm trying to do this where it focuses on the color and not on me. Um, Gentle Art Shago White. Gentle Art Black Crow. And Gentle Art Brown Bear. These will go into my fancy flush stash. Um, I'm excited to see what she has planned for April. And let me look around. I think that's all stitching stuff. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about what I have planned for the rest of this month. Um, so first things first. Um, Georgia girl stitching um, in her last or the video before that she had mentioned that she wanted to stitch um, <sighs> he is risen from the new edition of just cross stitch and I was like beautiful I want to do that too so I am going to join her and I think it's Laura stitching by the shore um, for a stitch along so I'm gonna pause really quick grab my copy of the magazine so I can show y'all which one we're gonna be working on so this is the pattern We're going to start this on the 29th, which is Good Friday, and I have decided I'm going to do this one on just white, 18 count, um, is that, my, which corner am I starting in? I might start at the bottom, is that what I was planning? So just white, 18 count, um. I might start at the bottom. And that's why I have this pin so precariously stuck in my fabric. Um, and I need to decide if I want to do the hill in green. Um, I know a lot of people have been kind of boohooing the fact that this is just a giant lump of brown. <laughs> so, excuse me, I might end up switching this to a green and I might look to see if I have a nice variegated green to do the ground in. So yeah, on the 29th he's risen and definitely go check out Georgia Girl Stitching, that's Megan, uh, both on YouTube and Instagram. So that is plan number one. And then, put all my stuff away. Uh, I'm also going to start another He Is Risen pattern on Easter. This one is by Allison on Etsy, a new creation studio. Um, it looks like this. And I'm going to stitch this on a Arnar reproduction American chestnut in 36 count with 
Classic Colorworks Secret Garden. And that it should be a quick stitch, it's not very big. So she says, obviously, everything that you start is like, it takes so much longer than you think it's going to. But those are my plans. Um, on the 24th and the 25th, I've decided that those are going to be my Christmas stitching days. I know a lot of people do like Christmas all year situation where they'll stitch on the 24th and the 25th on Christmas. So I'm doing that so that I can keep up with my holiday whips. Um, I'm also considering doing the MLK sampler on the 15th, so I keep up with that. Um, and then I'm also stitching on Cosmic Lover um, on the 17th of each month. And those are all my, like, plans and stitching day situation. Um, yeah. Ooh, I just went out of focus. That was weird. I don't even have an autofocus on my camera. Anyways, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, I really appreciate everyone who has stopped by my channel, especially recently I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and uh, if this is your first time here, um, I would really love uh, you to join me in future videos. Um, so hit the subscribe button, the bell to be notified, and if you could give this video a like, uh, it just tells YouTube that this is content that you want to see and it shares it with other people and we'll also then uh, share other content with you that's similar to mine so uh, I really appreciate y'all and until next time happy stitching